Anthony Slater here with Eric Horn. Uh, after what was a thunder win to close out the break, they blew out the uh, you know New Orleans Pelicans tonight to get to 40 and 14 heading to the All Star break. Obviously, the story of the night uh, is you know the tragedy that struck the Thunder organization you know over the last couple of days with uh, you know Ingrid Williams, the wife of uh, Monty Williams, dying in a car crash in South Oklahoma City. Uh, moment of silence tonight. Flowers outside the arena. A card for people to sign. Uh, as you expected, the community kind of came together, uh, and coincidentally, the Pelicans, who Monty Williams coached the last five years, are in town, uh, so it was just kind of a congregation. Though Monty Williams wasn't in the arena, the presence was kind of felt. Yeah, totally, and uh, it was an emotional past two days for both teams. Uh, the Pelicans had to play last night after finding out news about Ingrid's death. And then they had to, they, they ended up winning last night, and then they came on the road and got blasted tonight. But you can't blame them for that. I mean, they were down some players, yeah. and they were dealing with some tragedy. And uh, both teams handled it about as well as you could possibly imagine. Uh, Kevin Durant was emotional earlier today. Uh, he came out with Russell Westbrook and really uh, played a pretty solid game, 23 points for each of those guys. Westbrook won a uh, rebound shy of a triple-double. Yeah, what I wrote about for tomorrow was just kind of the outpouring of support you know, in this community, but also nationwide for Monty Williams. That kind of just shows the impact that he's had countrywide at every stop, uh, you know, in his basketball life and for Ingrid. Um, but what you wrote about, which is kind of how uh, through, you know, two and a half hours of basketball, uh, this team was able to kind of find an outlet and escape. Uh, for you know, like I said, for about two hours. Yeah, it, it, it sounds cliche that uh, that sports can be an escape for a lot of people, but it but it rings really true when you have tragedies like this, particularly when it hits home with somebody that's a part of the staff. Uh, these guys, they came out and they really, it seemed like they were enjoying themselves at periods of time tonight. I mean, Durant had that great pass to Westbrook off the inbounds pass uh, that was really creative. Westbrook went on a spurt where he had he created an 11-0 run for the team, and they really put the game away in the second quarter and in that spurt and, and it seemed like the guys were having fun at periods even though it took them a little while to get into yeah the game. especially late when you know the game was decided Steve Novak dropping a couple threes yeah. Mitch McGarry's in the game uh, but from here you know I think it's a very good time especially with what's happened over the last couple days for the all-star break the Thunder have seven eight days off they play again next Friday night against the Pacers here in Oklahoma City uh, Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook obviously will be in Toronto this weekend and then moving into next week I'm sure there'll be services and different kind of things uh, you know for Monty Williams' wife. Uh, but as this thing moves towards the second half, as the trade deadline nears, what are you kind of looking at? Uh, we're looking to see who's going to come in and help this team, if anybody, you know? Yeah. Um, they've got a tough schedule coming up after the All-Star break, still having a lot of games against the Spurs, Warriors, and Clippers, and, th and those sort of teams. So, are the Thunder going to bring in that quote-unquote two-way player are, uh, on the wing? Are they going to move some of the guys that are already here. I mean, we saw Mitch McGarry get off the bench tonight. DJ Augustine was a guy we didn't see get into the game tonight. So it's kind of curious to see what this team is going to look like uh, by the on, time on they, Thursday. By, yeah, by their next game, because yeah, their next Friday. game is next Friday, so that's after the deadline. Uh, but anyways, here's Billy Donovan, Kevin Durant, kind of talking about the game and also talking about Monty Williams and just the escape of tonight. We all got a big win tonight, you know, 40, 40 wins going into the All-Star break. Just talk about what that, you know, what you all have to do going into the second half of the season. Yeah, uh, it's good that we uh, definitely uh, was locked in and focused, you know, it's kind of easy to kind of drift off into the All-Star break before you get there. You know, I think guys did a good job of being locked in early. And, uh, putting this in a way as well. So good win for us. You know, we just got to enjoy our break as much needed break and uh, just come back ready the second half of the season to kick in full drive because we, we got 26, 27 games left and that's nothing. And then we're in the playoffs. So we got to be ready. For people who would ask how you could play a game after some of the things that happened over the last yeah. couple of days with the Williams family, yeah. can basketball be sort of an escape? Yeah, it definitely could. It definitely can be an escape. You know, Nick said it before the game. You know, we don't, we got a couple hours to play basketball. You know, let's just do that. And that's what we did. We went out there and just forget everything that's going on around us and played the game of basketball. It was still kind of tough. You know, it's still fresh in our minds, but. Um, you know, with the love from the crowd, and you know, we linked on each other for, for that love. And, um, you know, our coaches, we all just linked on each other, man, and went out there and played. So it was definitely, definitely a tough, you know, uh, last couple of days or so, and it's still tough to this, you know, right now. But uh, you know, basketball, that's you know, the effect it has. That it allows you to, you know, just forget about things for a little bit, and also brings you together as a group. So, you know, thankful for that. Outpouring of support, not just locally but nationally, for Monty and for Ingrid. Is that just indicative of the impact he's had everywhere he's gone? Maybe? Yeah, I mean, just just a stand-up guy, you know, someone that that knows what's important in life, 
And, uh, you know, basketball is great. We, we love the game so much, but, you know, that's not really what's important. You know, it's, it's definitely, you know, something that we, like I said, we love to do. But, you know, just relationships and family and those things, that, that's what's most important in life. And, uh, you know, not the latest trends or, you know, the, you know, the fashion world or all that stuff is cool. But, man, with, you know, the stuff that lasts forever is relationships, family. Love, you know, love is something that's gonna last, last a lifetime. So, you know, it's something those things we have to hold on, um, and that's what Monty just, you know, he exemplifies that every single day. We walk in and just love and caring and serving people, and um, you know, we love him for that, and we definitely feel for him right now. We got to we're supporting them and loving them right now as well. Is the break come at a good time then to kind of have that time of family, friends, teammates? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it puts puts everything in perspective for you and. Uh, I said this game is just uh, is a big deal to a lot of people. We know that, but at the same time, it's a short period of your life, and what lasts after this is what you know. These relationships you build, these memories, these you know, people that you're around. You know that stuff lasts lasts forever. And uh, you know it's, it's a tough lesson. You know sometimes you gotta learn, uh, but you know tough circumstances happen, man, and it just puts everything in perspective. And uh, you know we just. I'm grateful for all the support that people are showing Coach Money. He definitely, definitely uh, needs the love and support right now in prayer. So, you know, uh, it's, been a, it's been a tough, like I said, a couple of days, man. And, uh, you know, basketball definitely helped us tonight. You know, we were maybe a little bit sluggish to start with, which I think is understandable, but I think we got down 6 nothing. I think Kevin maybe made a 3, it was 6-3, then it was 6-5. And then I think after that, we started to get in, into the game there. And I think those guys got lost in the game, um, I'm sure, with – um, the start of the game with a uh, moment of silence for Ingrid and, and for Monty and the kids and you know, the pastor's prayer, um, seeing Alvin before the game and talking to him. Uh, I think there was just a lot of emotion early in the game, and I think once both teams settled in, they played. Eric Horn, the Oklahoman. Um, it, it seemed like um, the guys were having fun at times, too. I mean, there was a lot of smiling. There was a lot of laughing and joking around. Um, can the game be kind of an escape when the pain comes, when tragedy strikes? Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think there's, there's any question that that can happen because these guys all love playing the game. And, you know, sometimes, you know, when life hits us with what it hits us with at different points in time, as it did here, you know, yesterday, um, sometimes doing what you love doing is, is a relief and somewhat of a distraction, you know, for a little bit of time. And for me, I was just happy to see those guys having some pleasure playing the game and enjoying each other's company and playing together and having fun. That was great for me to see. And um, and I don't think there's anything wrong with them having joy. You know, at that time, I think there's been time for all of us to mourn and grieve and everybody handles that in their own way. But I think in the heart of the game, it was good to see them have that kind of enjoyment um, like they did. With all that said, I mean, does the All Star break come at a good time? Uh, you know, you kind of get eight days off to process. Yeah, I mean, you know, emotionally, I was asked by a couple people, in, in, I think before the game, um, is this All Star break coming at a good time? And you know, it's coming. You know, so it's. But at the same point, I think emotionally, everybody's been through a lot. You know, been through a lot, and um, you know, I'm hoping that um, that being here in Oklahoma City, that you know, I can help Monty and his family any way I can during this time. You know, whatever he needs from me. Um, I know he wants this time with his with his family, but I think our, our whole staff is you know here for him to support him. And um, you know, this whatever is 53, 54 games into it, you know, having a break for these guys to get away a little bit too is is, is probably healthy.